Hello everyone, this is a GSOC Jenkins Docker based quick start weekly meeting. Uh, we're almost done with the GSOC project, it's almost the end of it. And today we have Bear Viento, Jean Marc, Ashutosh, of course, and myself. So the last two weeks have been pretty calm, I would say, uh, but nonetheless, the project is progressing. Uh, we had a few work items that have been been done uh, last week and the week before and before going to the um, um, current pull request and the work items that we should focus on this week i'd like to talk about we to talk we discuss about the presentation uh, that should happen end of august or beginning of september maybe jean marc knows better than i do and about a possible extension of the date uh, if ever we would need a few weeks more to finish the project so i'd like to hear you about that first of all uh the presentation jean-marc would you have any dates to communicate there um sorry for the noise in the background uh, dates, we initially planned to do the presentation the 21st, but uh, the consensus was that we'll do it one week before, which is, if my memory is good, uh, the 14th, so on Thursday 14th, if this matches, so one uh, week before. Okay. I can check exactly the date but I need to juggle here. No, no, that's okay. So it's just before uh, the middle of September. Yeah. So we still have yeah, time. Yeah, uh, 14th. Okay, 14th. 14th for the presentation. Um, it's only Ashudosh and us clapping hands or is it something we have to do together? Uh... Is that question for me or? Oh yes, sorry, Jean-Marc. Because you happen to be an admin also, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> so what do you mean with clapping hands? Just uh, us as mentors being part of the audience and cheering uh, when Ashutosh does the okay. presentation or do we have to do the presentation together, the four of us? Uh, I prefer that Ashutosh does it. He, he did a good job last time. Yes, indeed. So it's the mentee that will present uh, if necessary, if he wishes, uh, he can call in uh, the mentor. Uh, just be... Uh, so keep in mind that it will be 15 minutes per presentation. So questions uh, with questions. Yes. So uh, 10 minute presentation solid. If you run into troubles, uh, you can uh, grab a couple of minutes, but no one will be allowed over 15 minutes. Of course. Got it. Fine. Uh, any question about that, Ashutosh? No, no questions. Okay, now for the possible extension, we got a message on Gitter earlier today by Chris Turn asking, should we extend the deadline for this project or are you good with the existing deadline? To which I answered, I will ask other people from the project, but I think we're good. We've done what we've done. We're happy with what we have and that will be fine. Um, but I want to get your feedback, Jean-Marc Ashutosh and Berviento. Who's first? You're the first. But, okay. hey, come on. You started. Yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, so first thing, it's a general question to uh, the whole group. It was asked by Chris, and uh, I asked him to steer the uh, uh, these opportunities because there's some administrative magic that needs to be done. Um, from what I've seen, especially if we, if the PRs for integrating the work from Ashutosh into Jenkins IO 
are created and that we started a discussion there, uh, I, I don't see a need uh, for extending. Now, the, the, the other part of that question or that answer is, now, if Ashutosh is going to disappear somewhere between the moon and Mars and, and uh, we, we, we don't see him anymore, uh, it, it would really be a pity to leave the work uh, it as it is, unfinished. So, but here, uh, this work, I see a shooter smiling, but uh, I think he got the message. But uh, we can arrange the, the finishing of it uh, at a different pace, more respect, uh, respectful of Ashutosh um, uh, college's time and, and so on. But it would be a waste uh, to have something half-baked and that we need to throw away because nobody is, is following it anymore. Got, got a message. So to summarize, because I, I gave too many words, uh, there, uh, I think it's a very good decision to stop the GSOC type of uh, interaction, but I would love to have uh, a GSOC-like or open source-like collaboration continuing uh, on on this project. That that would be really a, a, a great thing. So this is my point of view. Bruno, back to I, you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Jean-Marc. I'm on the same line, in fact. And I didn't know if we should add um, as a final target, you know, integrating into Jenkins.io. So I asked the question to Damien uh, Duportal this morning, and he told me uh, we don't have the bandwidth to integrate uh, the image creation and so on into Jenkins Infra for the next two weeks. And I can promise that we will have the bandwidth at the beginning of September. So I'm okay with adding as a final target integration into the Jenkins.io official documentation, but we won't be able to integrate the, all, the whole Docker thing into the Jenkins organization. That's a pity, but that's what it is. We have a small amount of time and so it wouldn't make sense to extend for me in order to get some more time for the Jen Jenkins Infra team to integrate uh, Ashutosh work. So no need to extend from my point of view either. Uh, and also, yes, I would love to continue work on this project with uh, all of you um, and maybe do something mm -hmm. around uh, Oktoberfest. We'll see what oh, we yeah. can do later on. Bervianto, uh, what's your feedback about that? Hello. Sorry. Yep, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Um. I think it's okay. Uh. We don't need to extend because uh. I think most of our work are already done. Got it. Thank you. I'm reading because because of the noise here, I had a hard time to understand. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, as I was saying, we are mostly happy with what we have now. It's not finished, polished, but it's kind of working. And yes, the cherry on the cake would be to have uh, our documentation integrated into Jenkins.io, and that will be it. Unfortunately, no technical items would be integrated into the Jenkins organization yet because of time constraints. Cool. Uh, anything else you would like to say, uh, Ashutosh or Bevianto or Jean-Marc, before we go to the pull request and work items? Yeah, so uh, you mentioned it won't be available. Like, uh, I don't know what what exactly is the problem? Like, will the bandwidth uh, will be expanded expanded later or something? We so. can hope so. <laughs> uh, uh, Bruno, explain what you meant with ben bandwidth. Yeah, it's. It's not the bandwidth of the network, it's the bandwidth of the team. Uh, it was a, a metaphor, an image, because um, we have a 
huge work item in Jenkins CI regarding to huh, network bandwidth. <laughs> so funny, um, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. And uh, people from uh, the infra team are working on reducing the consumption of the bandwidth that we have thanks to JFrog, for example, and that takes a lot of time. We also have another work item regarding the latest LTS and then um, there have been some bugs lately with the image uh, docker image creation and also we have to migrate some of the work into arm 64 uh, for um, money uh, because of the money it costs less to use arm 64 for example so lots of things that are really prioritary and we can't use that time to integrate your work into the jenkins in organization so that's the team that does not have enough time in the coming weeks to integrate your work. So not really related to network bandwidth. Sorry for that. Just a hint for Ashutosh uh, uh, there. This will be something interesting for you to observe and eventually participate in. Infra team is looking for contribution more on the infrastructure part. So uh, you could eventually with their their help uh, contribute help because you know uh, what you have built and learn how they work and in uh, in that manner uh, increase your knowledge uh, in more infrastructure part which I know is one of your your interests and they're looking for help and they can give you also uh, uh, tickets or things to solve uh, where uh, you can definitely help the Jenkins uh, community. So yeah, there, that's, there is... That's a good that's idea. That's Mark. a good idea. Yeah. yeah. And, just uh, remember, just remember, uh, sorry to, to cut, uh, there's a huge pile of work, prior uh, work that's, that's I, I will even say, uh, life threatening for the Jenkins project uh, that they absolutely need to to do for uh, and uh, Bruno just mentioned it uh, jfrog is giving us important infrastructure to for the continuous integration of Jenkins but we're consuming by the popularity of the product we're consuming a huge huge network bandwidth and we absolutely need, and we've been requested by them, you need to decrease that because this is uh, uh, rocket high and, and we cannot support that anymore. So actions are taken, uh, taken there. A good way to enter that, and then I'll conclude on that, and Bruno can guide you uh, with, with that too, is they have regular meetings of the infrastructure work. And so that would be a good thing to start attending. Uh, to the to those meetings so you hear and so you know what's going on this is something yes. for after uh google summer code back to you bruno thank you Jean-Marc. and yes that was a very good idea now that you know docker and jenkins there are lots of things you could do to help jenkins and the infra team for example this morning i made a pr for the docker ssh agent that you're using for our gsoc project um, because I saw that we needed uh, to upgrade to Bookworm, you know, get rid of bull size and go to Bookworm. It was just a few lines of code and it already got integrated, merged and released uh, today. And frankly, you can do that. You could do that if you ever feel like you like that. You know, it's pretty rewarding just to enter a few lines of code and bam, your name is part of a Jenkins agent release. <laughs> So yes, maybe after GSOC. The, the same could... is also valid for Bavianto. Sorry to cut. Yeah, Bavianto is also invited in where well, he has more skills uh, uh, in that domain. So have a look. Yes, please do so. And if you ever uh, feel intimidated or something, uh, please reach out to me. I could help be some kind of proxy to introduce you to those repos, for example. Thanks a lot for this insight, Jean-Marc. That was a great idea. Anything yep. else, Ashutosh, before we go to the work items and PRs? Yeah, uh, yeah. I was uh, thinking the same that uh, we won't need extinction. If uh, I was thinking, uh, if not uh, the in, with the infra team, we can at least 
uh, get all the PRs to the Jenkins.io for all the tutorials by the end of the project. Cool. Thank you. Perfect. And another thing, uh, uh, I forgot to uh, forgot in the last meeting uh, when uh, you said to attend the docs office hours, but uh, this week's docs office hours was uh, not supposed Cancel. to be held. I forgot. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I wasn't able to uh, ask Mark about if it will be there. I I tried to attend uh, the EU timing, but uh, Mark really? was not attending that one either. He wasn't. Yes, uh, I think he was on holiday or something. Yeah. And his uh, Google Calendar said that he was attending DevOps days or something. Oh. Okay. So maybe this week. We'll see. Yes. Thanks a lot. Anything else? No, nothing else. Cool. Let's go to let's go to pull request now. So I've seen uh, I see, I wrote three, but I think I saw five plugin update PRs uh, last week. So <laughs> this works beautifully. Uh, congrats uh, on this work. I'm super happy to see that kind of PRs. Boom, boom, boom. You know, just review looks okay, approve, merge, and we're ready to go. Then we have variable for Docker Hub repository. So it was because you were you still using your own repo and maybe one day we will be part of Jenkins repo. So never know. So in, you introduced just a change of a variable, if I'm not mistaken. So that, yeah, whenever, ooh, let's make that bigger. Uh, whenever we'll migrate to somewhere else, we will be able to use a different Docker Hub username, fine. Uh, then this one is adding and updating readme. Uh, what was that about? Yeah, I Which forgot readme? to update the title for this one. Okay. This one is for uh, separately building the, uh, if someone is not trusting the images, he can he or she can build the images. So mm. Oh, uh, yes, I, I remember this. now. Yes. Yes, because, um, you know, it's a chicken and egg problem, like uh, John Mark always says, um, mm -hmm. because if we make it to the Jenkins IO official documentation, we will have to reference your repo or your Docker images. And not that many people know you yet. So they can feel some kind of insecurity using your images. And that's why we are proposing to rebuild locally the images just in case people would be afraid to use yours uh, then you fix something that was uh, a bummer uh, we couldn't use the automatic opening of the um, uh, browser when using gitpod and you changed just a little thing that made a huge difference you went from open browser to open preview and this has worked since then for me at least each and every time because it was kind of randomly working and now it's working each and every time, which is fine. And then uh, you clear this one, the removing reverse proxy warning, but only for Gitpod. So I think I remember there's some kind of uh, IQ or JQ in order to um, change the JCASC uh, value when using Gitpod, am I right? Yes, I've added uh, it to the kitpod.yml file like yes and then with yq okay fine and it has proved to work because locally um i have the um, warning when i'm not using the right url and in gitpod i don't have the warning anymore so that's cool and now let's go to the open prs uh there's only one, if I'm not mistaken. So let's get rid of the S. It's the end-to-end multi-branch. So this one was the last tutorial we had spotted. It used to be with a Docker in Docker, and it was pretty obscure and complicated. And you change it. Oh, you change quite a lot of files in order to get this tutorial to work. And you don't have to use Docker in Docker anymore. I think you told us last week that you started with the same agent as a node tutorial and that this does work uh, for you. I've reviewed that and it also worked 
uh, follow me, but you ask us for a review. So would you have anything to share with us? Would you like to share your screen and tell us more about this PR? Yeah, so uh, for this PR, uh, it's an like, uh, extension of the Node tutorial, kind of. So it uses the same, uh, it works on the same agent, but uh, yeah, we need to add the Blue Ocean plugin for this. So we will need to use different controller and all mm -hmm. the uh, other tutorials we are using the same controller but for this one we'll use the same agent but different controller so i have to edit uh, the, the docker compose file itself because in the tutorial we were using uh, the same uh, controller and it was kind of uh, dependent on the controller because uh, that's uh, yeah so I have created uh, the updated the Docker Compose file uh, for different controller, but it was giving giving some errors to me because I am not sure uh, why it was giving, but uh, the it was giving errors while uh, updating the plugins, not updating the plugins while creating the images, uh, the importing the plugin .txt uh, file. It was giving some errors during that time. Uh, I think because the plugins are not updated in that file right now, but I'm not sure yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we should review it, but it's not ready to merge. Yes. Okay. And another yes. thing, uh, for this, I'll have to edit all the, uh, all the GitHub, GitHub actions to, for this to integrate this into them too. Yes. Yes, that's... I, I've updated, sir. Uh, uh, I have only one GitHub action, action is left. That is the testing of the main one, the which tested all the co containers. So I'll have to update that one. Yeah, that's a tough one, uh, but that will work okay, I'm sure. Okay, thank you. Um, so we still have 10 items to this day. I guess you haven't been able to progress because it's none of your fault about Dependabot is not configured yet. I tried Dependabot, but I, I don't understand why it's not working. I've looked into it. I, there are not many tutorials on the YouTube and other places either, but I've checked, I, I checked everything I think, but it's still not working. Uh, Beavianto, I think I remember I read this week a comment of yours saying that it was not working on your fork either. Yeah, uh, it's not working in my fork. Sorry, sorry, it's working or not working? Uh, not working. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And you don't have any more um, error message or whatever that could help us uh, knowing why. Yeah, I don't have any error. Either. Okay. So why does it work on mine? <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, Jean-Marc, have you tried um, Dependabot on your fork or not? Uh, no. Okay. No, honestly, I've, I had no, time no. consumed my other things. Of thing. course. No <laughs> problem about that. It was just in case. Because I don't know, I'm the one who started Dependabot uh, on my fork and then made a push request to a pull request to uh, the main repo. So I don't know if I did something that blocks other forks or even the upstream to work with Dependabot. Maybe it's my fault and I don't know what I did. Maybe not. Uh, I, I, I enabled know. Dependabot on another repository. And uh, now, did I check if it worked or not? I have several uh, anyway. repos which aren't fork and that work with Dependabot. Um, but, and I also have some other repos which are forks of official Jenkins on which Dependabot works. But I'm not the one who started Dependabot on those forks. You know, they were already part of the main repo when I cloned them. So I don't know. Okay, uh, I will try this week to find something. Uh, Bruno, I will have to drop in about two minutes. Uh, go, Jean-Marc, you're free to go. Uh, 
<laughs> Thanks a lot yes. for coming. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry. Okay. And don't yeah. get lost between the moon and Mars, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> I want to merge my code to the Jenkins. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good. Thank Talk you, you later then. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. See you, Daniel. Uh, then the next one was the end-to-end -end multi branch pipeline project creation. We already talked about this one. It's a work in progress. Um, the next one is use Gitpod tools to configure JKS. I don't think this one is mandatory, but that would be a nice thing to have. Uh, if it's still... Didn't you solve that already? Yeah, I don't remember this one. Um... Yeah, the thing is, we wanted to retrieve um, the exposed URL thanks to GH port, but I think we don't need that anymore, in fact. Because it's already done, maybe not with GH port, but I think in JCASC, you already changed the Jenkins uh, URL in some way yeah. that it's already available. This one is old one. Yeah, that's what I, that's yeah, what I yeah. forgot about. Close issue. Done. Right. That's cool. Uh, I don't think I can strike that, but that's okay. Uh, then uh, use depend about uh, if ever it wants to work and update CLI to keep the samples up to date. So for um, depend about you just say which kind of ecosystem you're using. For example, we are using um, uh, Docker ecosystem because we have Docker files. So just say uh, we are using the Docker ecosystem. Here are the links to our Docker files and it will do its best to update the versions you're using in the various Docker files. So this one should work um, whenever, depend about, uh, <laughs> is okay with working on your repo. Um, maybe that would be just a little work to do. I don't know if you've done that um, because you added some Docker files lately for the multi branch pipeline, for example, and I'm not sure it's part yet of the um, update CLI con uh, depend about configuration. I think it's not it's part not of that. that. Yes. But as it doesn't work yet, well, you get the idea. Uh, then I was thinking of update CLI uh, because dependabot is somehow limited. Update CLI is also limited on some other parts, but the combination of the two makes for a very robust um, update system. So if you find the time to experiment with update CLI, um, please do so. So we have a working sample um with continuous update and as dependable doesn't work that well well maybe we should um switch to update cli i think we'll have another lts tomorrow for example uh, jenkins lts and it would be nice if we could have update cli to update uh, our various docker images um of the controllers thanks to the um, you know, having the latest Jenkins LTS version, for example. And it's the same for uh, the Debian version we are based on, uh, and so on, and so on, and so on. There are lots of things to update if we really want to. And we could even go up to the samples. You know, you have several samples for Maven, Node, and so on. Various repos, you could put update CLI or depend about in these repos also, so they also get updated. So we don't have to let people experiment with some things which are outdated or vulnerable, for example. Okay. Then we have build and push the Docker image if and only if the Docker files have changed. I'm almost sure you've already implemented this one, right? I think yeah. I saw your GitHub action only fired uh, if the Dockerfire had changed. So yes. let's close this one. Oh, that will be a light week. <laughs> Unle until you experiment with a bit, <laughs> which could take the whole week. Um, close issue. That's cool. 
and then open a first PR on Jenkins.io. So I don't know how this one will look like because um, the format you're using for the documentation which lies within our repo isn't quite the same as uh, the official documentation of Jenkins. So I guess you would have to fork and clone the Jenkins.io repo and then make the modification directly in another branch and propose them to Jenkins.io. Not using directly uh, the documentation you wrote. You know, I don't want just to copy your file into the Jenkins.io repo, but just make the modification until it looks almost the same than the first, uh, the existing documentation on Jenkins.io, but with the latest uh, information you entered into your repo. Okay. I used the uh, I have did use the Jenkins iOS uh, documentation while writing the blog. So yeah, of course. Yes, you already know that, um, and you already know how to build the Jenkins IO website on your yes. local machine. Also, cool. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, you're not using Windows, of course. <laughs> so that does work on your machine. On Windows, it's a mess, even with WSL two. Anyhow, um, the last one is optional. It's a proposed set of other examples to implement. Um, we've done, you've done most of the tutorials we were thinking of. So Maven, Python, Node, and Multibranch. And maybe there would be some other ones to implement. The goal there is not to solve them, you know, to make them, but just to create some uh, work items, some uh, issues into the repo so that anybody later on could uh, try to tackle uh, this. Okay. But this one is not uh, mandatory, just if you have time to. And of course, you should think of the final presentation, the demo. Uh, so you should, you could take some time um, because we still have more than two weeks. But yes, you should definitely start to think about that. You did a great job for the midterm presentation. And I'm sure if you invest time enough into the next one, it will be great also. And of course, don't hesitate to share or to do a rehearsal with audience, be it friends, family, mentors, whatever, if you feel like it. Okay. Great. Uh, well, time is running. Anything else you'd like to share, Ashutosh? No, nothing else. Cool. We have Yanto? Oh, good for me. Okay. Uh, so if you don't have anything to add, let's call it done and see you next week on the same meeting and before that of course we have the guitar element matrix you name it if you want to discuss emails and that's all uh the video should be available for everyone uh 24 to 48 hours from now and if we don't get in touch by next week have a nice week bye bye bye, -bye. Thank, you. thank you welcome Bye-bye.